of our company is Blue Shift, and we make thermal protection systems for aerospace and defense. Thermal protection systems is 1950s rocket science. These thermal protection systems were cork and paint. And you have to think about when they re-enter the atmosphere, they get blasted with crazy amounts of temperature. And so thermal protection systems help the rocket survive both ascent and re-entry into the atmosphere. Our specialization is making a really high-tech, thin-profile, lightweight alternative to that 1950s cork and paint. We're able to offer a solution that's much thinner than cork and also much lighter weight, and that helps them maybe add more fuel to the load or make them go a little bit faster, just creates efficiencies for them. And it takes a long time to put cork and paint on a rocket. We end up saving them money. Surprisingly, a lot of companies are still using cork and paint. We're starting to persuade them to use our technology, which is essentially a really thin structured air material, mostly made of polyimide. And then we'll add a super straight, could be graphite, aluminum, a material called polyimide film. We make multi-layer structures which outperform cork with a smaller footprint. We're also working a lot with electric aircraft. We are heavily involved with battery assembly protection. There's something that happens called thermal runaway. So our technology works really well for aircraft. Our technology is really special. It's all about transient cycled thermal events. The hotter, the better, the colder, the better for our technology. Our type of technology works really well when there's that sudden burst of heat and then it might cycle down and cool down so the you know the plane slows down so it's not consistent constant heat as blue shift started and we needed a strategic investor and we we brought one on uh, called flexcon and they had a facility in san antonio so we started doing trials at their facility in san antonio but blue shift we really needed a high quality uh, wet lab space we had a meeting in san marcos with the mayor at the time at the meeting they said hey have you heard about star park unbelievable labs brand new unused so it was really serendipitous we moved in within probably three weeks and had a absolutely stellar experience there the bigger texas state infrastructure was really critical we had a really i think a wonderful internship program there as well nice equipment we were able to borrow certain pieces of characterization equipment having that infrastructure in place for a young company really saved us a lot of time and money. Innovation ecosystems really need talent. For our type of business, material science, you need chemists, you need engineers. And having um, an ecosystem uh, where you can hire easily and also trade ideas with like-minded companies is super valuable. Central Texas is right up there. It's got a really great future as a incubator for new material science companies. You think about what's happened in Central Texas over the last just five years, right? Elon Musk has moved in. Firefly is an up and coming aerospace company. So you have, I think, companies that have grown up there and they will seed new companies. Certainly we're working with a couple of companies right there in your neck of the woods that we would love to support locally.